So there's a very standard NCRT class 12 mathematics question in which you have to show that the set of all prime numbers is infinite. In this video, I'll explain you that you have to do this question, how you have to solve this question with all the proofs, ki how will you prove that the set of all prime numbers is infinite. By the way, subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want to see more such videos on mathematics and other educational content. So we will start this proof with a contradiction. We'll assume that the set of all prime numbers is finite. So let's assume it is a finite set. It has k elements. All of them are prime numbers from p1, p2, p3 up till pk. Now let's assume another number capital N, which is a product of all these prime numbers p1 into p2 into p3 up till pk plus 1. Now since this number is a product of all these numbers plus 1, it will obviously be larger than all those numbers. So n is a number and each number will either be prime or be composite. So we'll take two cases, case number 1 where n is prime and case number 2 where n is composite because each number has to be prime or it has to be composite. So n also will either be prime or be composite. So let's consider the first case where we are saying ki let's say n is prime. What we know is n is larger than all those prime numbers p1 up till pk. And the set of prime numbers is a finite set which means there is no prime number larger than pk. We know n is larger than pk and there is no prime number which is larger than pk. So n cannot be prime. So case number 2 is that n is composite. So what we know is each composite number has prime divisors. Now our number n. So let's divide it by p1 which is the first prime number. What we get is p2, p3, p4, pk plus a remainder. So clearly p1 does not divide n. In the same way p2 doesn't divide n, p3 doesn't divide n and you will find out that there is no prime number which divides n. Which means that n does not have a prime divisor and since it does not have a prime divisor it is not even a composite number. So n is neither prime nor its composite which clearly means that our assumption which we assumed in the beginning that the set of prime numbers is finite it was wrong. So which proves that the set of prime numbers is an infinite set. So if you want to see more of such maths related videos hit the like button. Comment below and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.